Hello and welcome to another revision video from us here at High Tons Tool PE. Today we are looking at arousal. All right, it's part of paper two, um, the sports psychology element of paper two. Basically, what you need to know is what arousal is, and that is that it is the optimum state of psychological and physical readiness in order to be able to play a particular sport or activity. Now, obviously, the nature of different sporting activities varies from golf that requires a certain psychological state to rugby union that might require a different psychological state. So, the way that we look at this is using the inverted U theory. So if you imagine an inverted U going like so, you are trying to get your psychological state right to the top of that inverted U. Now for different sports, the top optimum state of arousal might be slightly different. So for a golfer, it might be towards that karma scale where you need to be in there keeping control of your emotions because of the fine motor skills and that control required to perform effectively. Whereas a rugby union might be slightly towards the more kind of uh, extrovert, outgoing, more aggressive, more revved up state over here because of the physicality and the aggression that's required within a game of rugby union. So it's obviously try, quite important for you for the exam to try and work out for the different sporting activities exactly where that optimum state of arousal at the top of that inverted U sits. Is it golf where it's slightly more calm, rugby union where it's slightly more aggressive and you need to be able to justify where you would state that particular uh, arousal or sport based on justification. So explaining the requirements of control for golf, explaining the requirements of the physicality of rugby, etc. In addition, what you need to do is be able to understand how to control arousal. Because obviously if you become over aroused, this is when you start making mistakes and your performance deteriorates. Similarly, if you are under aroused, you might not be revved up or motivated to perform as well as you can. So the examination requires you to understand the importance of deep breathing to be able to control that arousal to get it back to its optimum. Mental rehearsal and visualisation, so picturing yourself in that performance prior to it to allow you to get yourself into that optimum mental state. And it also might be self-talk. Now, you know, professional clubs at the minute have got all these slogans that are written around changing rooms to enable people to get into that ideal psychological state where their performance is at an optimum. So to recap, arousal, basically you are looking at the optimum top of that inverted U, psychological and physiological state in order to perform to the best of your ability. Thank you.